Hey guys, so first bee trip of the year, super excited. I left from my house in Northern Utah where it was still pretty cold, it's kind of winter here still, and headed down south. Uh, first stop was down south of St. George, Utah, right on the Arizona-Utah border. Stopped to look at some wildflowers. It was actually warm. It was kind of windy, so I didn't see much. Headed further south down into the Mojave Desert of California. Nice Joshua Tree Forest here. This is Mojave National Preserve. So the idea was I'm going to meet some friends up with the USDA and find some rare bee genera. So these scientists at USDA are actually collecting genomic data for bees across the US doing some really cool genetic work. So I was happy to tag along to try to photograph some of these rare bees. We stopped in the morning, looked at some creosote bush, uh, lots of really cool stuff flying around. And I was super excited to find this bee. This is Megandrina Ancelia, only lives in the Southern Mojave Desert and visits creosote bush, super cool. Then we headed up back into the Mojave Preserve to look for bees there. We found some Hesperapis. Hesperapis isn't necessarily rare, um, but it's one of the more rare genera in North America. They're mostly found in the deserts. Headed to another spot in the preserve, you can see some people called this a super bloom. It was some nice wildflowers. We found some cool stuff out there. Lots of different blooming shrubs in the Mojave Desert. Really fun to look around. I love the desert, especially in the spring. We did find some cool bees here too. We found this little teeny sweat bee in the genus Conanthalictus. We also found some more Duforia. Notice how low the antennae are on the face, really cool. So as we looked around, lots of really cool wildlife. Spring is just so fun in the desert, especially when it's been such a long winter. Even on the dry hillsides, there was still some really neat flowers blooming. Look at this cactus bloom, it's just so vibrant. So on the drive back to where we were camping, saw this desert tortoise crossing the road. Luckily we stopped in time and had some time to go video it. Really cool creatures. Also, right when we got to camp, we found this rattlesnake. I believe this is a Mojave rattlesnake, which is the only rattlesnake in North America that actually has neurotoxic venom. So we tried not to bug it too much, but really cool area. Right behind where I'm standing here is one of the biggest dune systems in California. Um, on those dunes down near the base, we found some velvet ants. This is one of my favorite wingless wasps out there. This specifically one, this specific one is Dazimutilla. So we didn't spend much time on the dunes themselves, but at the base of the dunes, there were some poppies blooming. This is a kind of prickly poppy. Didn't have a lot of bees on it, but it did have one really special bee. This is the Mojave poppy bee, which is really, really rare. There's actually two species, Perdita meconis on the left and Perdita robustula on the right. I'll do another video about the Mojave poppy bees. So evening was setting. We started finding some male bees sleeping inside these evening primrose flowers. But in the morning, we got up and found another kind of rare bee. This is Habropoda pallida. Uh, it's restricted mostly to the Mojave Desert. It's also found somewhat in the Sonoran Desert, really in sandy areas. So it's actually protected in California. So it was fun to find that. Uh, along in these sand dunes, there's other really cool animals. This is a earless lizard, super fast. They actually dive into the sand and they kind of swim in there to hide. Where we parked when we came back in the morning, we found that we were actually parked right next to a nesting aggregation of this bee. This is Calliopsis. So Calliopsis doesn't actually dig an entrance to their nest. They kind of just shimmy into the sand. So you can kind of see them hovering here above the sand. Uh, but we try not to bug them too much. Other sand dune bees like this Andrina actually do build an entrance to their nest. So you can see there's this little tunnel that that's the entrance to that uh, nest of the Andrina. So then we headed to another spot in the preserve, um, found some nice Joshua trees in the evening. We were looking for some flowers and there wasn't as much blooming on this western side of the preserve, but we eventually did find some Sphoralcia, that's globe mallow flowers. And a lot of bees will sleep inside these flowers in the evening, mostly males. Males like this, this is a chimney bee. They build those little chimneys over their nest. There was also some male Andrina, the digger bees, or mining bees, I should say. So some interesting bees sleeping there. Beautiful sunsets out in the Mojave Desert. The next day we headed north into Clark County, Nevada to look for some other rare bee genera. It was kind of windy today. It was warm, but windy. So there were still some creatures out. This is a desert iguana, super cool lizard down in the Mojave Desert. It likes to come out when it's like above 90 degrees and it's a vegetarian, so that's pretty neat. One location we stopped at had lots of indigo bush blooming, which usually attracts a lot of bees. It's super windy, but also at this location is this endangered poppy, the Las Vegas bear poppy. 
So it was hard to find any bees on this poppy because of the wind, but if you look close here, see that black dot? That's actually a mating pair of the Mojave poppy bee, which is also super rare. So we were pretty stoked to see it here. Let's see if we freeze that. You can't really tell, but that is the Mojave poppy bee. So we were excited. Again, I'll do a different video about those bees. This location was pretty neat, but for some reason, numbskulls come here and dump their trash. So many beautiful flowers and nice bees, but come on, just go to the dump to dump your trash. Why do people do that? This is a nice Andrina foraging on this Encelia. It looks like a sunflower, but it's a different genus. Pretty cool bee. Hard to take a video of it though because of the wind. So then we went back out farther into the desert on some dirt roads to look at some other locations. We were specifically looking for the other species of Megandrina. And so Megandrina, there's only two species. They only live in the Mojave Desert. We found the first one down south of Mojave Preserve, and we found the second here in Clark County. This is Megandrina mencelia. So this flower right here is called Blazing Star. Uh, the genus is Mencelia. Uh, Mencelia is visited by a lot of rare bees in the Mojave Desert. For example, here's a male Megandrina sleeping in this flower. These are such cool bees with the giant head, nice red abdomen. The males are often around the Mencelia flowers because they're looking for the females that only visit the Men Mencelia flower. It's evening now, so the bees are starting to come into the flower to sleep for the night. Isn't that cool? Did you know you could walk around flowers in the evening and find lots of male bees sleeping in them? There was also these Perdida. This is a mating pair of fairy bee that also visits Mencelia. So in the evening, I made my dinner. Such a beautiful location to be at. Stars came out and I had a good night of camping. Then in the morning, I started actually hearing bees buzzing before the sun came up, before six o'clock. And it turns out they were these rare bees. This is Ancelandrina, females and males, which were visiting the creosote bush, only found down in the Mojave Desert. So I was super excited to find these. We were pretty excited to find some parasitic bees. This is a cuckoo bee. I think it's town Cindyella, but I haven't looked at it close. We found other cool bees here. This is another Hesperapis visiting indigo bush. So that was a recap of my first bee trip of the year, at least part of it. This was the part looking for rare genera. I will do another video looking for the Mojave poppy bee. Thanks for watching.